Hello everyone, this is Bitesauce and welcome to episode 14 of Feed the Beast Unleash and I'm getting myself some upgrade because this is starting to fill up a bit. So I'm going to get myself another couple of uh, 4k storage. Uh, I'm already in the process of crafting it up. So let's grab two more of them, throw them in. There you go, that should last us a while. Now what I'm actually going to do is... Uh, I need to start thinking about making steel for my um, for my boiler that I'm going to use because I'm, I'm starting to build up quite a bit of fuel. I've got 360 buckets currently, so it's going up nicely. Um, I do also need to put some coke in that. But what I'm actually going to do, instead of putting coke in this, I'm going to move it into another room. Now, I'm going to put the room off in this direction, and I'm going to uh, set it down a bit so it you know, goes down a few stairs, and uh, yeah, so it's going to go off in this direction. And I'm going to put uh, blast furnaces in there. I'm going to put the coal coke ovens in there, and hopefully a few other things as well to to fill the room up. So I'm going to make this room, and I'll be back once I've actually made it. Well, that took some time. I managed to make 44 coal coke in the time it took me to build this room. Uh, I'll show you in a bit. Um, I'll pick this coke oven up once this is finished because there's no point in wasting it now. So this is the room I've got. Looks pretty ugly. I know. Brown. Tasty. Anyway, I kind of like it actually. A bit strange. Um, so these are where I'm going to put my coke ovens and blast furnaces. So coke oven, coke oven and coke oven and blast furnace and blast furnace. So if I just start, I should have all the materials. I might be missing a couple but we'll soon find out. So the first thing I want to do is build them all up like in the relative slots so like this break that there we go them two have formed and one here There we go, and then finally one here until we go and break the other one and place that in the slot next to me. So let me just finish this off. There you go, exact. So this should be done by now or close to. Yep, it's done. So let's just break this and break this and this. There we go. Now I need to build another one of these and then I need to actually send all the the piping for the uh, creosote oil back up to the top into the tank that's uh, over there. So I thought I'd just show you the room. I think it's quite nice. Looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to grab some materials. I, I need a, quite a lot of liquid to get the, the creosote over here. It's basically got to extend right along and come down and attach to all of them through. Uh, so I'm going to grab all that. I'm going to grab some other things and I'll be back once I've got some stuff. Just connecting up the, uh, the liquid duct. I've got that one done. I'll just bring it up here. I need to give this a quick wrench. Bring it along. And do this one. Give this a quick wrench. And it comes out of here. So all the way along. Move the torch down. And ooh, it'll have just enough. There we go, connected. That goes all the way into there. It's in a ravine, I'll probably cover this up at some point, but it should be fine for now. So there we go, they're all connected. Now all I need to do is get some um some coal going to them. So I'm gonna use logistics pipe to do this as well. Uh, probably gonna run the main pipe from over there, underneath this, uh, go into the middle and then spread out either side. So I'm going to grab some pipes and I'm going to grab um, some different types of logistic pipes and then I'll set this all up. So I've run the pipe along the floor. Um, I got a comment about why do I use gold pipe everywhere and the simple reason really here was because I had enough resources to do it. 
Now, because that was such a long run, I've actually used some um, some cobblestone transport pipe just to, you know, lessen the blow on the on the resources. So the pipe runs along the back of here, down this here, and then comes straight along and comes out over here. And I've already set this up. This is all gold because, yeah, why not? Um, and then I've grabbed myself some supplier pipes and some logistics, uh, sorry, some chassis pipes. And what I want to do is add um, a supplier pipe and a logistics chassis pipe to each one. And then I can bring this pipe down here. And then I want to add another one to this one. So we'll have one here and one there. And this can go... Hmm, let's see. Let's just move this down. To here. And finally... Why did I just do that? That was silly me. Basic pipe there, and then you can connect that. Like that. We need another basic pipe there. And then one more, that and that. And then finally, all we need to do is tell this to supply coal to this, and this is going to have an extractor module in. I didn't bring any coal with me, silly enough, but. So, this is going to be set to extract. I'm pretty sure I could extract any direction, to be honest. We'll soon find out. So, that's set to extract. And then. I need to jump up here, and then I'll go and get some um, some coal, and we'll see if it works. Now I realised the run from the old system to this part is actually too long, so I had to halfway down the pipe. Basically, I've had to add just a basic logistics pipe, and that will, that way the the power will be sent further. I think it has a maximum distance of about 50 blocks uh, to send the power. Uh, now hopefully this should, I've set this one up already to 8 and this should be keeping 8 supplied. Now all I need to do is set it up on each of these to hold 8 and we should see this one quickly fill. No, anytime soon. Have you died? It's fine. Oh, there we go. 8. Also need to set this to have partial requests. That should that should help with a bit of speed. And eight in this one. And that partial request as well. And we're done. Now these will keep um, keep creating cold coke for me as long as I need it. And then if I don't want it anymore, I'll come around and just turn them off. Hmm, this one doesn't appear to be working. Oh, there we go. Just as I say. So that's three cold coke ovens running, uh, supplying me enough cold coke for these. Decided to set up uh, set up semi-automated steel production. So what I'm going to actually do is uh, get rid of this pipe, and we'll do the same again for these. So we want a supplier and a chassis pipe, and the chassis pipe needs an extractor module, and then. We should be able to. Oh, we should have brought some extra basics with us, but never mind. We'll do that in a bit. And the same for this one. And now, you could fully automate these by telling it to keep both um, iron and cold coke stocked, and then it would continuously automate them and pull them out. But because I'm running a bit low on iron still, I'm going to. Uh, I'm just going to manually supply the cold coke for now. Uh, so, in fact, if I just throw the roll in. Now hopefully this should send iron to oh no, it's not connected. Never mind. Is this one connected? Ah, there we go. So this should begin to make uh, steel for me. And I'm gonna connect up uh, this with some logistics pipe, uh, some basic logistics pipe and everything should work fine. All of these are running nicely and uh, I've tidied up the pipes a bit. I've it's a bit of a mess so this is what I've done. I basically added a basic logistics pipe at each junction. Heading to each of the um, 
each of these. And then I'll put the supplier pipe and then the logistics pipe. So anything that gets pulled out will just hit this and then it should just continue on its way back into the system. Now I have left this running for not too long. Uh, just to, to see how fast it builds up and stuff. And I've actually already managed to get, uh, if I type in steel, there's already 139 steel created, so that's uh, it's working pretty well. I've also got a fair amount of coal coke ready, and every so often I'm just uh, throwing in an extra bit of coal coke just to, to keep it running. I think I did it uh, pretty recently, so it shouldn't be too high, uh, too low. So yeah, that's uh, that's keeping them nice and topped up. Uh, that smells going nicely. Now, I have noticed we have actually run out of saplings, so that might be something to consider uh, next episode. Uh, what to do about that, because we do need our saplings to keep the the supply of that's not going, otherwise our boy is going to stop when we create it. So, um, yeah, I'll come up with some ideas on how to fix that. Uh, so, thanks for watching episode 14 of Feed the Beast Unleashed. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, and see you later.